Hi there. Well, this is one of the most requested videos about the MeTV. How to connect your MeTV to your home theater system? Well, the 49-inch MeTV Pro, the 55-inch MeTV Pro, and the previous generation 55-inch MeTVs don't have a 3.5mm audio headphone jack, which made connecting to soundbars and home theater systems far more easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your MeTVs that don't have headphone jacks to your home theater system. Continue watching this video. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. So there are three ways you can connect Mi TVs that don't have a headphone jack to your home theater system. Number one, HDMI ARC. Number two, Bluetooth. And number three, SPDIF port. Now HDMI ARC is the first port on all the Mi TVs and ARC stands for audio return channel but not many home theater systems are compatible with it yet. So if you have an HDMI ARC compatible home theater system, it solves your problem and it will work absolutely fine. Number two, Bluetooth. Now Bluetooth is something that is there on all the Pro series as well as on the 55 inch Mi TV. So you can connect your home theater systems with Bluetooth which makes connection far more easier but many have said that they are not been able to find their Bluetooth devices when they try to search in these Mi TVs. I am assuming there is a bug so we are not going to use that option either. So finally we are going with the tried and tested SPDIF port. Let's see how we are going to connect our SPDIF port to the Mi TV home theater system. So you're going to need a digital to analog audio converter. I bought this from Amazon and it cost 700 rupees. The adapter came along in the box to power the converter. This is a SPDIF coaxial cable also bought from Amazon for 400 rupees. This is Amazon certified excellent quality cable. I highly recommend you to buy this one. It will help improve the audio quality. So if your home theater system has an RCA red white analog input, you're going to need this cable. And if you have the Oxen 3.5mm headphone jack, you're going to need this cable. You're going to need either of these, not both. So make sure which one to buy accordingly. So I'll leave links for all these items in the description. You can buy them from there. So I have a line-in connection on my home theater system. So I'm going to use this one. I'm not using this one. We keep this aside. So first thing is we take the digital converter and we connect one side where it's written coaxial to this side and when we take the RCA cable and we take the red and we connect it to red and we connect the white and we connect it to white. We take the adapter and we plug it in. We don't need the yellow video wire because this is only for audio so we, don't, we won't need, be needing the yellow wire in this. Now let's connect this to the TV and home theater system. Then we're going to connect the other side of our RCA cable to our audio in on our home theater system. So we connect the red to red and we connect the white to white. This could be line in, aux in on your home theater system. So look for it. Then we will plug the coaxial cable to the SPDIF port behind the Mi TV. And finally, plug the converter adapter. Once plugged in, the red power light will turn on. Let's play something. And there you go. Plays perfectly fine with your home theater system. And just to show you, the volume on the TV is zero. There is no loss in quality as well. In fact, it's really good. Let's play another track. In fact, people who want to connect this with the Bluetooth on their home theater system, I recommend you get this audio converter and trust me, you'll really, really enjoy the music quality. Brilliant, trust me, it's brilliant. Well, the only drawback I see is that you cannot increase or decrease the volume from your TV remote. Well, that's something that everyone should have known, but I thought it's worth mentioning. So 
So I'm recommending some budget soundbars for people who don't have home theater systems. They connect with your MeTVs with just one SPDIF cable and you're done. You can check out the links in the description. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and let me know if this worked for you, if this didn't work for you. If there are any questions regarding the MeTV or any other TV, do write them down in the comments. I'll be happy to help. Also, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Until next time, cheers.